Hey you guys, what's up? I'm back, how's it going? And here's some more Project Spark Beta. Um, thank all you guys that commented on the last video, it's awesome. I'm, I haven't made anything based on your comments like a Biggie Sniper. I'll definitely, I'm 90% sure that there's some uh, like ice physics you can make to do like a air hockey game or something like that. And so I'm gonna experiment with, blah, 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 experiment with that um, after I make this video and it'll probably be in the next vid. But in this one, I realized watching the last video, I never went into the brains at all to show you how I did anything. So that's what this video is going to be about. And also, I improved it a ton yesterday. So, yeah, let's let's get into it. I just, I love this game so much, you guys. And, yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful, you guys. Your new subs, awesome. Thanks for coming. Okay, so here it is. Burr, it sure is cold. I wonder where my shoes could be. So let's hop up here. Hooray, a pet bird. I'll name him Billy. Come on, Billy. Beware, there are no more checkpoints until the summit. I wish you luck. Also, you must have a key to open the final chest. All right, and hopefully I can do as good jumping through this again. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Okay, let's try that again. Takes too much focus to think about talking right now because I want to be. Oh. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. And something that's kind of interesting about this game is it's actually surprisingly pretty different from Kodu, like programming wise. Just like things like um, how you say once, like it's only do it one time, it's in the win side instead of the. So, I mean, yeah, in Project Spark, it's in the win side instead of the do side. Because, like, on Cody, you put it at the very end. And, uh, just so it, like, it looks more like reading. Okay, here we go. So, as you see, there's this new path. I'll cry if I fall. No, just kidding, I won't. But I'll be kind of mad. So, I just have him, after a certain time, I have him set to just say his feet are freezing all the time. Which is pretty funny. So, we got a key. But bam, I need to like have a sound effect or something for that key. So gotta take it up to the chest at the top. Ho oh ho. Come on, don't mess up now. We did it. We did it. We made it to the top. The chest. Oh, it didn't. Man, that went too quick. So, well, it did show up and show the feet and it said, hooray, you got the shoes, but I don't know. For some reason, it, it I said it to kill my guy, but I guess that took it out of what it was doing before because that made his brain be gone. So I need to get rid of that. So I'll do that right now. But, okay, so let's look in this brain. So pretty much everything I did is in just the one guy's brain. So follow camera, ignore camera collision. Um, display the bottom left, the sprint equals shift. Uh, WASD is to move at, at one speed. I didn't even need to put at speed one. I don't know why I did, because that's what it, the default is. Space is jump. And so this is saying when I'm holding down shift and when I'm using the arrow keys, it'll move at that speed. At... at uh, so it's 50% faster. And then this says right at the beginning, once the duration timer hits 5. Um, so for 5 seconds, it'll display that. And then this says when it detects the treasure chest and the bird, it'll say, hooray, my bird. Yeah. Um, and then when the countdown timer is 30, if I'm not moving, it'll say my feet are freezing. If it detects the key, it'll equip it. And so this is something pretty new for me like using variables like it's m more closely related to real coding so I created a variable and named it key and I said key equals one when I have a key so this number equals one and then now this says when my new variable is equal to one and I bump the chest it'll kill it because it's indented I'm sorry I didn't explain that before so like up here there are a lot of these it's indented so when shift and because it's indented it has to be both some of you guys already know that but and then, so when I bump the chest, 
it destroys the chest. It's supposed to play a light beam. I don't know, in the magic poof sound. But it's not working too good. And then it switches to the next page. And the next page just displays this on the top screen. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. So if I put, um, so if I unindent this, it'll just right away switch to the next page. And then you can see what's supposed to happen. So I'll get, I'll get rid of the kill me because that failed. I'll put when, I'll, t I'll put a countdown on it instead. That'll work. So when, oh man, what am I doing? When countdown timer hits, let's say, let's do 10. Do kill me. Ta-da. Let's see how that works now. If we hit play, bam. So you got the shoes, yay. And the reason I had to make this image huge, so I made a huge image so I could have shoes, is because the shoes are actually a, like the only boot item is a locked item. So yeah, that worked out really well. So, and it plays that music, which is kind of kind of cool, I guess. So I'll save this. Where's save? Oh, I gotta, gotta go to edit first. So I'll save. I'll save and share. And I'll, I'll, oh, 13 downloads. Sick. Okay, that kind of... I want to overwrite it, though, because this one's better, because this one has a bug. But I don't, because I'm pretty proud of 13 downloads, you know? Eh. I'll overwrite it. Sorry, I had to republish... Oh, cool. Lifetime rating and download statistics will be preserved. So sick. I hope it works. Nice. Success. Okay, so that's a cool feature. I didn't know you could just continually update your games and the downloads and everything would stay because that's awesome. Thank you, Project Spark. Um, so let's let's leave. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the, the boots. The only boots item. Here, I'll show you. So the only boot item is... It's it's locked, and I didn't want to spend all my credits on it. I could get it, but I'm I'm stockpiling my credits probably for a nice uh, content pack. We'll go look at the content packs right now. That's a good idea for a good content pack. If I like it when it comes out, like if it has like a dragon or something sick like that. Uh, yeah, I like my own. <laughs> so let's go to the marketplace and let's look at not purchased okay so here's the content backs they're right here wow so there's village festival desert dunes and haunted cornfield and like they all it's pretty nice it, it goes and it has every single item that's in them so all of that lots of sound effects which is kind of neat and it has a whole new terrain type which actually is pretty cool that's that's a big addition and like that one has a terrain pack i don't think any of the other ones do let's see come on yeah. Oh, there's a Scarecrow boss. You can use it for your own game. Okay, so so there's the content packs, and the equivalent of that is, I think, yeah, so 100 tokens is equal to a dollar. So pretty much it's, uh, never mind. <laughs> so that's five bucks, ten dollars, seven dollars. Pretty easy. That's a nice thing made it so equal like that. Not like Microsoft points where it's like 80 equals 100, just to make it difficult. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching the video guys. I'll start working on, and also I forgot to talk about the, the cart game. I'll try to make a car. I'll see, I'll see what I can do. I'm, a, I'm not as good at this game as I would like to be. Like people are way better than me at the moment, but I will improve. And yeah, cause people are making like Etch-a-Sketch while I'm making a jumping game. <laughs> and I think Etch-a-Sketch Etch is so cooler. So cooler. Wow fail talking it's because i'm tired i'm sorry i'll get some sleep and make better videos thank you for watching you guys this is logical gaming see you later